Hi there, this is Grace at the Monroe Ben Franklin, and today we're going to be making a photo transfer onto a glass surface. Today we'll be using a glass block. Um, you'll also need a pair of scissors, some heavy duty packing tape, and then um, a scraper or a um, credit card or gift card of some sort. And your printed out photo, it has to be on a um, on a laser printed printer um, and if you have any words or um, anything in your photo you'll need to make sure you reverse it before you print it out. So I've cut my picture out of my paper and then I have also laid down three strips of packing tape to make sure that each strip um, overlaps a little bit and having the sticky side up. So I'm gonna stick my picture right down onto that, trying not to wrinkle it. And then I'm just gonna trim the edges of the tape, any excess of that tape. Doesn't have to be um, right up to the photo. It can have a little excess. All right. And this next step is pretty important. So we're just gonna burnish or rub um, our colored side, our printed side of our photo with a um, scraper or your credit card, if that's what you're using. So you wanna make sure you just use really nice firm pressure to get it all nice and pressed onto there. You just wanna go kind of at least one pass over in each direction, making sure to get every single corner nice and adhered to the tape. I'm also going to go over these seams nice and well, just to stick them together. All right. Once you've done that, you're just going to put it into a bin of warm water and you're going to let it soak in there for about two to three minutes just so the paper on the back gets nice and wet. Alrighty, so my photo has been soaking in here for a couple minutes and I'm just going to take it and start rubbing off that paper with my fingers there. You can see it start to roll off and you just keep rolling until you get pretty much all the paper off. You'll kind of see here, it start to come really translucent and you'll just see the ink left instead with no paper. So you can kind of see, this is kind of what you want it to look like. It's gonna have no paper and it'll just be that ink left and you're gonna do that to your entire photo. And then once you've finished your whole photo, we've kind of already prepped ours. So this one. is what it's gonna look like when you've finished taking off all your paper. And then you just let, I'm gonna make sure you let your photo dry from any water. And once it's dry, that sticky on that side will come back. So mine has a little bit of stick still. I'm just gonna flip it over onto my glass surface Line it up. And then you're just gonna take that card or burnishing tool again and just rub it nice and smooth onto your surface. And you can kind of pull up the corners and re-stick it if you get wrinkles. So it's basically gonna be like a sticker. Once you get it nice and smoothed on there, that's all you pretty much have to do. You can see that you can, it's nice and translucent. You can see through it still. And you can also do it with black and white photos. Any of those white areas will become completely clear. So we did this on a little jar with a little bee image. And that's it, that's all you have to do and you have your custom um, glass jar photo transfer. Um, and thank you for following along and I hope you enjoy.